one millisecond time delay communication so so as soon as you put your um, MD, uh, MDI call out speed spindle it's act uh, is acting like one millisecond like instead of waiting 10 minutes or 10 seconds you know so just set one okay that's it and go back okay back out and you done your programming your VFD and close this document okay so you know that your USB is COM3 correct and all your properties and your I don't know what this thing call port setting I guess bit and priority and none bit so it's A and 1 all this is matching with your VFD that's, that you set okay so now you turn on your Mark 3 Mark 4 I mean sorry about that my English is kind of limited. Uh, here, based on documents, so you see it's showing COM three. You can have COM four, COM five too, but make sure it's you know what COM it is though. Okay, of yours USB, and here you go. My Mark four is low up and. You need to enable your plug. Config. Control. Go to plug sections. Enable all these and Mobus and refile. I'm using the ESS um, smooth steppers and my breakout board is C25 XP so if you have similar to this you can compare or matching up after you enable your plug go to your control and put your spindle to 4 24k RPM okay 24,000 RPM which is my spindles max is 24,000 RPM so you exit out reset reload You see this VFD is running separately from your breakout board because it's running the RS-485 separately wire USB you see. Yes, go there. Oh, I forgot to show you that how I wires. Um, I wind the yellow is to wait is hold on the red is for the RS four eighty five plus the green is for S forty eight or R S four eighty five negative and the black wire is the ground. So the, under this plug have a diagram of the terminal where you um, connect to your VFD. Okay, 
and here you go your mark is low up and you need to go config plug and mobus okay I'm based on the document that Bill Corwell provide um, that's what you need to do add connections you can keep the same or change the name whatever you want I will keep the same just in case um, you know so just in case that is not matching the word the letter whatever this description what I have is I'm just putting this as in my name my um, setup VD so VFD GT um, Siri RTU that's what USB keep it keep all these default and you check this okay next select your com which is your com 3 earlier I showed to you and this is what you set on your com what your com that you set earlier that is matching with your VFD your com is supposed to be match all these to your VFD also so 8 is matching matching and enable this enable 485 mode so just select com and all this what you have on the VFD and your USB that you set have to match I repeat so many times on that so good to go finish and and let's say you done come back plug mobus highlight this and you're at mobus functions and you go to you go to write uh, single register 16 bit and function name go back to the documents copy these or you can write down um, you can write down WRT VFD CMD okay copy and paste over here and you can copy and paste down here the same it's two the same Functions name and the registers name prefix the same slave address one and mobus address is what the manual say is four zero nine six okay and you can keep all these default next verify finish now you gonna highlight this again um, add more functions uh, now you're gonna add rehole then register 16 bit 0x3 you're gonna highlight over here Paste 13, highlight, copy, and you paste the name over here. And you paste the name under here again. S slave address, just same thing, one, and this want to be a different name. Different address code, which is 4097. Register account is one and 
default. All this is gonna be default. Stay the same and next finish. And you can add one more. You have to highlight this and add one more. Yeah. The first tab. So you can whatever first tab add highlight add right here now you're gonna add the speed right VDF speed it's right single register 16 bit 06 so x6 and you're gonna copy that and you're gonna paste over here paste down here the same set this to one and set this to eight one nine two register count same thing one and all this will be default and next verify confirm finish okay so now you have our three of your function that you just added for the MoBus okay here are all your com verifies again so I'm gonna set this to one and all of this looks good. It's okay. And then the manual saying go all the way down. Okay. Okay. So now you reset your mod four. Reload. Diagnostic Mobus and this. You have to select both. Okay? So select the pin so it's gonna stay on top of it. And click start. And you see the X right here? Check it and you make sure you have you can see all this is green color. And if you see um if you see this is red or one of these red it could be your um, your com of your whatever you not matching with your VDF VFD or your USB is not the correct one or your okay so if your your everything is green but everything is green but when and you clicking your your you starting your spindle and your VDF with VDF VFD start but your spindle is not starting then that is your parameter that's what I have trouble earlier that um, all my MOBA is working but my um, my VDF is working still but my spindle not starting is so I reset my um, spindle to default and put it back all the uh, parameter back and everything's work so if you have that you need to do what I did um, so yeah, what you see here is everything's work it has to be green and you that's, Okay, so so now 